for the kind words thank entire diabetes india 2023 into team yeah dr banchi sabu sir no sir and the good friend bharat sabu for giving me an opportunity so as uh, the introduction mentioned like not a new topic but topic where you have so many questions need to discuss a lot so i'll start with a case so during the first wave of covid this patient had visited our center actually he came with husband for getting his diabetes treated but while discussing only we came to know that he is already having diabetes so she is 27 year old techy not having enough time to manage her diabetes class 2 obesity with bmi can see 33 of course the diabetes was new onset and a1c above 10% she gives history of pcos but no other comorbidities they are planning for a pregnancy and as mentioned because of her uh, profession she can't do a regular exercise or maintain her diet so this was the case when we saw her during the initial that is the first during the first wave of covid and later we started her treating diabetes so with that i move on to my topic so as you all know during the last few decades the incidence of increase in obesity prevalence of course resulted in similar increase in type 2 diabetes as well and that too an increasing number what we are seeing in younger individuals because of obesity and during the covid time also we had so many new onset type 2 diabetes as well being diagnosed even after post covid we are seeing lots of type 2 diabetes being diagnosed so again the mean age of pregnancy is also increasing so the fertile women those who are being diagnosed with diabetes is increasing before their pregnancy definitely when we consider diabetes management during pregnancy we are more focusing on preventing the so called complications both for mother and fetus uh so definitely when we discuss about management of diabetes in pregnancy the preconception diabetes management is something different but when i was searching in the literature uh, i could not find any good data or studies with regard to preconception reversal or remission of diabetes so definitely uh, the treatment starts with counseling you need to have a good counseling with the patient the preconception counseling is very important in diabetes routine care many of the forums do address this and gives importance of achieving better glycemic control among these patients to have a better outcome uh, in their pregnancy as well in future so effective preconception definitely aims at better glycemic control to avoid the complications and of course you have to stress more on family planning wherever whenever it is indicated because whenever you see hp1c level of more than 7 or 8 it is better to avoid pregnancy to avoid the complication in fetus as well as mother so you can start with the counseling by a question like whether you are planning for a pregnancy in the next year if so the planning should be in a better way like what i mentioned you have to address the other issues as well because during the entire a uh, period of the reproductive age group women the things will be changing and you have to have a repeated sessions of counseling again and again pressing the importance of getting better glycemic control and maintaining that too so the team involved in diabetes management that would be the preconception diabetes or during the gestational diabetes itself it includes the multidisciplinary team including an endo diabetology or physician treating this and you need a maternal fetal medicine specialist dietitian diabetes educator this all entire team is important while managing gestational diabetes or preconception diabetes definitely and here again the aim is to have a better glycemic control 
Uh, standard pre-consumption care should be augmented with extra focus on nutrition, diabetes education, and screening of for diabetes comorbidities, complications, and introduction of a reproductive life plan in pre-consumption care is also important. So here again, during the first visit itself, you have to have a better idea of the patient. This includes proper history taking, physical examination, to have a better knowledge about the patient's laboratory uh, test being evaluated, and to know whether there is any com complication or comorbid condition along with diabetes. You should have a proper nutritional status assessment and the medication which the patient had taken earlier. And of course, stressing the importance of glycemic control with proper monitoring of blood glucose as well. So uh, introducing of a uh, reproductive life plan again, if the patient is planning for a pregnancy, the coming year is different. And if they are not planning, there will be some uh, lenience in the management of diabetes. So during the second visit, again, you have to uh, take the history again and go for the lab reports, start supplementing vitamins. Uh, if the patients are already on any comorbid condition treatment, they ha you have to stop those medications, including statins and AC. And if there is thyroid history, you have to optimize TSH level. Avoid smoking, alcohol, or other things, and uh, advise safe contraception till glycemic targets have been. Diabetes management again, I have stressed like in gestational diabetes or before that itself, we are aiming for a better glycemic control. So there is not much difference here as well. Blood sugar management definitely the drug of choice always is insulin. Start with along with oral agent which are safe and targeting blood sugar levels fasting of 80 to 110 to our post meal of 155 to 160 and of course you have to stress the importance of having a proper SMBG wherever whenever the patient can do it properly and in this group of patients definitely if you are going to advise them to do a proper monitoring they will definitely adhere to your instruction because they are uh, more uh, cautious to have a better glycemic control as well and of course HbA1c should be done uh, and the new metrics which we discussed in diabetes management where we are addressing to have a better glycemic control to get a time in range among your patient. Of course, continuous glucose monitoring is advised and you can see the different categories of patients and the time in range which we advise to have among those patients. And in type 2 diabetes, definitely the time in range is much more, more uh, compared to the other groups and in type 1, it is different. So, to have a tighter control, if possible, you can opt for going continuous glucose monitoring and the newer sensor which is available including the 14-day uh, Libre where patient can monitor blood sugar without continuous pricking and uh, adjust their lifestyle modification or exercise or diet uh, uh, drug modification as well depending on the blood sugar uh, profile. And of course, the treatment, uh, it starts with medical nutrition therapy where the aim is mainly focusing on better weight production where you can avoid pregnancy complication in future and uh, correcting nutritional deficiency including vitamin B12, calcium, iron, uh, preparing for a healthy pregnancy and planning meals with proper ratio of macronutrients, have more fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds in the diet, avoiding empty calories, inclusion of dairy products, individualized physical activity be advised and Again, meal replacement therapy must also be considered for weight loss and for obtaining an ideal BMI. Here, one of the pilot randomized controlled trial which clearly shows that meal replacement uh, during preconception uh, time, weight loss was achieved among uh, the group of women who were overweight or obese. Uh, women uh, in this uh, study, actually it was the age group from 18 to 40 years of age with a BMI of more than 25 who are planning for pregnancy within next 12 months were included in the study. All participants had three clinical visits with a dietitian and one obstetric consultation. In total, 50 women were enrolled in the study, uh, 26 from uh, the meal replacement, uh, other from the normal diet advice being advised. And you can see the difference in weight observed in the meal replacement arm and the dietary advice arm, where you can clearly see that in the meal replacement arm, there was significant weight reduction among the patient. And uh, in this uh, study, actually, the outcome for uh, pregnancy and other things were not 
actually uh, ready but still meal re replacement is better choice so again going for the medication option like i have already mentioned the safer one being insulin to be initiated whenever wherever it is necessary and of course the sensitizer metformin can be used and uh, going by the consensus statement you can opt for so many other options as first line drug as well because many of these patients will be obese and to address that uh, bmi along with better glycemic control you can opt for the other agents which has better weight reduction action as well including the clt2 inhibitor or the glp1 receptor agonist including ohas which is uh, available right now the approved basal insulin definitely the newer addition is degludac as well and you can see other insulins which are approved so special situations like sick day management definitely they have to monitor extra blood sugar levels and to have a better control titration should be done accordingly so with this discussion i have been gone to the exact topic of my today's discussion that is preconception reversal or remission is it possible or not like what i said the topic is debatable and uh, i couldn't find any uh, much literature when i searched but this was one beautiful case report from brazil the preconception diabetes remission a viable approach to reduce pregnancy risk in women with recent diagnosis of type 2 diabetes case report and clinical discussion so this was a case of 38 year old woman uh, she had a 7 year old boy but there was no history of gdm in the, that pregnancy but the first child was having birth weight of 4 uh, then before second pregnancy got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and she was having uh, a bmi 33 during the first visit and when she was diagnosed after lifestyle modification sensitizer was included and along with that you can see glp1 receptor agonist was added during 75th day of uh, visit her bmi got reduced Uh, the liraglutide that is the glp titration was done properly according to the blood sugar and the change in body weight during 6 months you can see the change in bmi 9th month you can see and towards the end uh, the diabetes got uh, disappeared almost her blood sugars were normal she got drug off including glp1 and metformin and you can see the change in hba1c level as well along with weight reduction <clears throat> what was observed in this case so this was the single case being reported where remission was seen that is before pregnancy the pre conception remission being discussed so in this paper also it is fairly discussed like you don't have enough data or literature while going through uh, the previous one so definitely the remission or the reversal part which will be discussed during the entire session will focus on uh, much more on these aspects as well so this is again uh, our own paper with use of liraglutide that is the glp1 analog but the age group is different but still i included in this presentation because here again we saw uh, something called remission in the new onset type 2 diabetes where we have used after lifestyle modification and treating uh, with metformin where patients were having more bmi and initiation of glp1 analog that to liraglutide Uh, and titration definitely had a better glycemic control as well as weight reduction among these patients and ultimately ending up with remission but if at all you are able to have a remission among your patients uh, sustainable where the patients were uh, able to continue the same hba1c level without any drug that is actually very challenging which we you will face while having a remission among your patients so these were the changes what we have observed in that paper which was published so to conclude definitely the increase in the prevalence of diabetes along with obesity uh, among younger individuals will have the so called more number of uh, women before pregnancy being diagnosed with diabetes and definitely if possible to address uh, the weight as well as the blood sugar if remission can be achieved it is well and good to have a better pregnancy outcome in their future life as well it should involve a multidisciplinary team approach where the patient will have an opportunity to go for continuous counseling and motivation to have a better glycemic control and management 
and many of the studies which will be again will be discussed in the coming uh, lectures as well so it has shown that diabetes remission is possible and it at least in some cases you will have to continue the same without adding any drug for the, those patients as well so again this area requires more exploration and we need more clinical trial or observation being published with more data say like preconception remission of diabetes is possible or not so with that i would like to thank the organizers of 2023 diabetes india for giving me 